so in the last video we were able to display the profile or the pictures of the users we have in our profile table now what we want to do next is we want to be able to click on the picture or on the names which appears as links when we click on them it will take us to a page where we can just see the profile of these users so what we need to do is we go back to our test editor and if we as we can see we have uh, a user.php um, that we have here but we don't have the page yet so inside our users folder we create a new file and we call it user.php now what we are going to have inside this user.php is uh, the same as what we have in the profile.php so we just copy what we have inside our profile.php go to our user.php then we paste it inside what we have then the next thing we are going to do is we change this name from um, view profile to view user so we change this to view user view user dot php now we can call this um view user page then here we're still going to leave this and we'll, we'll work on this shortly so we go to our scripts we create the view user view underscore user dot php here in the view user as well we are going to have the same code we have in our uh, view profile we copy it we paste inside but now in this case we are not using the user id and if you recall if you click on this page you see that we have the id of the user the first name and the last name so it's this id that we're going to get then with this we can get the data from the sign up table in the database so what we are going to do because this user we are assuming if we go back we are assuming this user is not logged in so we can go back to check so what we are going to do is we are going to change this to id instead of user id we change this to id and also to get the id from the a URL we are using the get super global so we say get with this we are getting the ID or if we don't want to use get the ID we can just say first name equal to using get super global and inside we have the first name but in this case we are getting the ID so we are saying select all from profile where ID is equal to the ID we have in the URL and we are leaving every other thing the way that they are okay um i realized something if we go to our database we see we go to the profile page we see that um the user id is what we have on the browser not the id the user id is equal to the id we have here so what we're going to do is instead of saying where id is equal to get id we say user id so user id is equal to the id we have in the url so the user id in the database is equal to the user id we have or the id we have in the url so if we go to the page and we refresh we refresh oh nothing's happening okay we've not saved it we save it then we go back and refresh now we see that we are the we are viewing the profile of the this particular user here we are viewing the profile because this is not the logged in user but rather one of the users with the profile in the database but here we have the profile of the logged in user so if we click on it it's going to show the same profile of the logged in users so what we're going to do is we're just going to display 
the images of users that are not logged in so the login user profile will not be displayed here so we go to our project so recall I said in the home page where we have the all users function I said well, since we are displaying all users in the profile um, table we don't need to add a weird clause but if we here we just want to display the uh, users other users that are not logged in we want to display their profile picture here that means we don't want the user that is logged in to have a picture displayed here what we are going to do is we're going to add a where clause here because say where user underscore id is not equal to the section session id so we say it's not equal to session id so this will display all the users in the table apart from the currently logged in user so if we go back to our page and we we'll refresh now we see we only have uh, the other user in the database because of this where clause if we remove this where clause here it's just going to display all the users we have in our profile now if I decide to change this to something else if I decide to change this to something else then they will be displayed because we don't have the session we don't have them as session IDs so now if I just decide to change one of these let me just change the user ID to something else even though we don't have it in the sign up table change it to something else and we refresh the page we see that we are displaying the user whose ID is not equal to the session ID because we don't have these IDs stored in the session already because the session IDs are only stored when the user logs in so the session ID are only stored when the user logs in so if we log in these users now we'll find out that their picture will not be displayed here on the home page so with this we've been able to display the users profile picture so as many users that will be added their picture will be displayed there apart from the login user so in the next section we are going to see how we can add the image of the currently logged in user and also a link here to take them to the view profile page